So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I will say dear friends, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you all here to this uh, third international conference on smart energy systems and fourth generation district heating. Uh, this year, we are almost 350 uh, people, 340 to be exact. The first conference we were almost 200, the next almost 300, and now we are 340. So we are very happy about this, and I would like to welcome you all. My name is uh, Henrik Lund, and together with Brian Vade Mathiesen, we chair this conference, and we have been looking forward to welcome all of you. You come from uh, 25 different countries, and we are going to listen to 150 presentations. The history of the conference is that it started as an annual meeting on a research program or research center. We have the 48th center, and it's still the 48th center that is behind the conference, but uh, this year we have, we have increased it, so there's actually two uh, projects behind it, both the 48s and also a new project called Reinvest. The uh, 48s uh, project is based on the belief that district heating is here to stay, but district heating has to change. And then we investigate that future technology of district heating. District heating is here to stay because, as we see it, District heating has a very important role to play in the future renewable energy systems, decarbonation, and etc. that we are all targeting for in many countries in Europe and, and, and also elsewhere. But district heating also has to change into a new fourth generation because it has to adjust itself to the new conditions of the new energy system that we see will for come in the future. The next project that we have included this year is called Reinvest, Renewable Energy Invest. And we have not really um, developed a one-liner for that, but if I should come with a first draft, it will be something like that there is at least two dimensions to interconnectivity. We talk a lot about interconnecting between the country's cross-border connectors but we believe it is at least as important to interconnect between the sectors. And here, of course, district heating and the heating sector will play a very, very important role. So this is sort of the belief of the reinvest project. Both the 48th and the reinvest project have received funding from the Danish Innovation Fund. So we are very grateful to them to support uh, this. Uh, and you can say both uh, projects are also founded in the concept of smart energy systems. And smart energy system is an approach in which we sort of claim that we believe if we should identify good solutions for the future transformation into renewable energy systems, then we need to take an integrated approach. We cannot deal with each subsector on its own. We will need to do it integrated. And the reasons for this is that there is a huge difference in the cost of storage compared to if you want to store electricity, electricity in, electricity out, or heat. And for that reason, or liquid fuel or gas, and for that reason, we can, if we can integrate the system so we can store it by thermal energy or by liquid fuel or gas, then we can do it much cheaper. Also, there is a big difference between if we try to store energy in each house or if we do it uh, together. And for that reason, also district heating play a very important role. We have uh, made a, a YouTube video on the smart energy systems. So if there should be a few people in this room who have not already seen that video, please go and take a look at YouTube. And as many of you know, last year we launched, launched a, a video on the smart heating of uh, Europe where we sort of focused on how district heating uh, could play a very important role in the future European 
uh, in this system, but it's the same principles also for other parts of the world. Uh, this video is very much based on the uh, Heat Roadmap Europe uh, studies, that is a series of studies we have conducted for some years, and uh, now we are on the Heat Roadmap Europe number four uh, study, where we look into different countries and develop uh, path roads. And as part of this study, also being heavily represented at this conference here, there will be a launch there will be a launch uh, this afternoon on the new version of the pan-European thermal atlas uh, using GIS to locate heating uh, potentials around Europe. Uh, so please uh, be aware of that later this afternoon. The, the program right now is that we have a plenary session here. I will soon stop uh, welcoming you and then my my co-chair, uh, Brian, will take over and introduce the keynotes. We'll have two very good keynotes this morning. And then afterwards, we'll go into six uh, parallel sessions. And this means that you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, listen to all the presentations, but uh, please pick the ones that you, that you like to listen to. And you all got a book of abstracts, so you can see abstracts for all the presentations. And uh, if you ask where are the papers behind them, there is a reason why you have not been given that. At, uh, one reason is that many of the papers have not been written yet. Maybe some have, maybe some haven't. I don't know for sure. Uh, but uh, it will be so that afterwards, uh, people who wish to do so uh, can submit their paper to special issues of these two journals, and we have already issued from the previous conferences uh, three and very soon four uh, special uh, issues. So, and if you have not got an invitation to do that and you wish to do that, please let us know and we will arrange uh, for that. Also, when you do your presentation, do, you, do your best because we will have a committee walking around and uh, see if we can identify two presentations that we can award by the end of, uh, of the conference here, uh, like we did in the previous. Uh, there's one for the junior and one for the senior. And they are, uh, they are sponsored by Kampstrup and Danfoss. So thank you very much for doing this. Uh, but Kampstrup and Danfoss is not the only sponsors we have. We have uh, five more sponsors uh, this year and uh, I'm also very grateful for them. They have some uh, shows around so please pay them a visit and you may ask what are they sponsoring and I'm very happy to announce that they are sponsoring the dinner. And that's the reason why we can have a very very good dinner in Tivoli and so if you feel it's a fantastic dinner then please go around and, and say Say to some of them, thank you for the very nice dinner. Good. Uh, and then where, where should we have the dinner? So uh, this is just practical information. And this map here, number one, you can see where we are right now. We are in the National Museum of, uh, of Denmark and uh, right next to the parliament. And around the corner, you can see Tivoli. And I would try to mark up here for those of you who have not been in Tivoli before, uh, the main entrance. So please try to find the main entrance and uh, you can, there will be time so you can enter Tivoli uh, before we have the dinner and take a uh, walk in the nice park if you wish. And if you can't find it, follow somebody else because there's a lot of people here uh, from Denmark and I believe Sweden as well and maybe Norway who, who already know where, where the main entrance to, to Tivoli is. The dinner is uh, taking place uh, half past seven in, um, in Grøften, there's a restaurant, so, and I have marked up here where it is, but if you uh, is not certain then please ask and, and we will advise you how, how to get there. And then I should also say that we are in the National Museum and you have free entrance for both days to the whole museum. So if you feel bored by district heating presentation, then you can take a little walk around and see, see some of the Danish uh, treasures. So uh, please take advantage of, of uh, that if, if you feel so. 
then we also are proud to announce that we uh, will have the next year's conference that will be in uh, Albor. The dates will be the 13th and 14th of November. In your book of abstract there is another date. At this regard that we have planned for to having it as we usually have in September, but there are two other very important and nice distocating conferences in Hamburg and Helsinki in September next year, so we decided that we will uh, we'll do it in November instead. So, uh, so please make a note of, of that. Then just one final slide here is that um, the 48th Project uh, Research Center is a six-year project and it was actually about to finish this year. We have been allowed to go into next year so that uh, we can also have a conference next year and can also be part of 48th but then we'll uh, close up that project. But the conferences will go on within the framework of the other projects. And I know that a lot of people here in are involved in a lot of very, very good European and, and national district heating projects. And for that reason, we have found it will be good to sort of still keep the 48th network together. So we are launching now a network where you can all sign up, no matter if you are an institution or a company or an individual. It's not an exclusive, it's an inclusive uh, network. There will be no fees and the whole purpose is to make all of us stick together so we can let one another know when this conference is and when other important events are and maybe people can also team up for, for new projects uh, on the homepage. Uh, there's no link right now. We'll send out a link to all of you. We have all your emails, so we will send out a link to all of you as soon as we are ready to sign up. But please uh, make a note of it and be ready to, to sign up when we send out the link. And with this word, I will just want to thank you all and uh, hopefully wish you all a very, very good conference. Welcome and thank you.